set theory will cover few more practice problem on set theory in this video we'll see few problems on the concept of subsets operation on sets word problems and venn diagrams if a and b are two sets such that a is subset of b then find what is a intersection b and what is a union b well now it's given that a is a subset of b that means whatever elements are there in set a those elements are already present in b and along with that there may be some few extra elements so in order to find a intersection b obviously all the elements from a will also be there in set b hence a intersection b will be equal to a and a union b will be equal to b let u is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 a is equal to 1 2 3 4 b is equal to 2 4 6 8 and c is equal to 3 4 5 and 6 now we need to find a complement b complement a intersection c complement a union b complement a complement complement as well as b minus c complement now first of all we'll try to draw a venn diagram so that it will be easy to easy to understand which are the exclusive elements and which are the elements in the intersection part now if you observe there is an element 4 which is common to all three sets so we'll write this 4 in the most common part that is here now in set a and b this 2 is common just to set a and b so we'll write this 2 here now in set b and c element 6 is common so we'll write this 6 here and in set a and c element 3 is common so we'll write that 3 here now whatever are the remaining elements with those elements will be exclusive elements so in set there is an element 1 which exist only in set a as well as element 8 exist only in set b and element 5 exist only in set 5 now all the elements which are common to a b and c as well as exclusive elements are written will compare all these elements with the elements of set u so we can find out that 7 and 9 are absent in all the three a all the three sets a b and c so union set will have 7 and 9 which is in the vacant part of a b and c but it will be there in the universal set now a is given as 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and 4 now we need to find out a complement so a complement will contain all the elements which are there in universal set but not there in in a hence a complement will be 5 6 7 8 and 9 similarly b complement will be equal to 1 3 5 7 7 9 because 2 4 6 and 8 are already there in set b now we need to find out a intersection c complement to find out this set first of all we need to find out what is a intersection c now a intersection c is equal to 3 and 4 hence a intersection c complement will be 1 2 we cannot have 3 and 4 now so 1 2 5 6 7 8 and 9 next set which we need to find out is a union b complement again first of all we need to find out what is a union b so a union b will have 1 2 3 4 6 8 and 8 hence a union b complement will be 5 7 and 9 and now next is a complement complement we know that a complement complement is always equal to a hence it will be 1 2 3 and 4 and the last one is b minus c complement to find out this set first of all we need to find out what is b minus c now b contains 2 4 6 and 8 as well as 
C contains three, four, five, and six. Now, which are which are the elements which are common to B and C? That is six. Hence, four and six. Hence, B minus C will be will be equal to two and eight. And hence, B minus C complement will be equal to one, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. It cannot have two and eight. We'll move to next problem. Let A is equal to one, two, four, five. B is equal to two, three, five, six. C is equal to four, five, six, and seven. We need to verify the following identities. That is, A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C. A intersection B union C is equal to A union A intersection B union A intersection C. A intersection B minus C is equal to A intersection B minus A intersection C. A minus B union C is equal to A minus B intersection A minus C. A minus B intersection C is equal to A minus B union A minus C. We'll try with the first identity. A union B intersection C. We need to prove that this identity is e this left hand side is equal to A union B intersection A union C. Now we'll start with LHS. We know that A B and C all three sets are given. A is equal to one two four five. B is equal to two three five six. And C is equal to four five six and seven. So A union B intersection C will be equal to set A as it is. That is one two four five union. Now what is B intersection C? B intersection C will be common elements to B and C. That is five and six. So one two four five union five six will be equal to one two four five and six. Now we'll simplify RHS A union B intersection. A union C. Now, what is A union B? A union B will be equal to one, two, three, four, five, and six. Intersection A union C. Now, A union C will be equal to one, two, four, five, six, and seven. And intersection of both the both these sets will be equal to one, two, four, five, and six. Now, if we observe. Both the sets after simplification, we can est establish that LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, the given identity can be verified. Now, next, moving to next one, A intersection B union C is equal to A intersection B union A intersection C. Now, again, LHS A intersection one two four five intersection B union C. Now B union C is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So intersection of these two sets will be just two, four, and five. And RHS is A intersection B union A intersection C. Hence two, five union four, five. That is equal to two, four, five. Again LHS is equal to RHS. Hence second identity can also be verified. Third, A intersection B minus C is equal to A intersection B minus A intersection C. Now LHS. First of all, we need to find out what is B minus C. B minus C will be equal to two and three. Hence, A intersection B minus C will be equal to one two four five intersection two three. Hence, after simplification, we can get just one element that is two. Now RHS will be A intersection B minus A intersection C. Hence, two five minus four five will give us two. Again, LHS is equal to RHS. Hence, third identity is also verified. A minus B union C is equal to A minus B intersection 
a minus c. Now LHS a minus b union c is equal to 1 2 4 5 minus now b union c is 2 3 4 5 6 and 7. Now 1 2 3 4 1 2 4 5 minus 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 will give you the result as just a single element that is 1. And RHS is equal to A minus B intersection A minus C. That is 1, 4 intersection 1, 2. Again, it's equal to 1. Hence, LHS is equal to RHS and the fourth identity is also verified. The last one, A minus B intersection C is equal to A minus B union A minus C. Now, LHS is equal to A minus B intersection C is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5 minus 5, 6 that is 1, 2 and 4. RHS is A minus B union A minus C that is 1, 4 union 1, 2 and hence it is also 1, 2 and 4. Now here also LHS is equal to RHS and hence fifth identity is also verified. We will move to next problem. There are 200 individuals with a skin disorder. 120 have been exposed to chemical C1, 50 exposed to chemical C2 and 30 to both C1 and C2. Find the number of individuals exposed to chemical C1 or chemical C2, chemical C1 but not C2, chemical C2 but not C1 chemical. Now we will draw a Venn diagram first. Common region will contain the people who are exposed to both the chemicals that is this region. Now there are 30 individuals who are exposed to both that is C1 and C2 and hence we can say that number of C1 is equal to 120, number of C2 is equal to 50 and number of C1 intersection C2 is equal to 30. Now when C1 intersection C2 is equal to 30, there are 90 people that is 120 minus 30 which are exposed to exclusively C1 and similarly there are 30 people 50 minus 30 there are sorry there are 20 people who are exposed to exclusively C2. Hence we can in this diagram we can have 90 people who are exposed to only C1, 30 people who are exposed to C1 as well as C2 and 20 people who are exposed to just C2. Now we will solve the problem. First thing we need to calculate is people who are ex individual who are exposed to chemical C1 or C2. Hence we need to find out union of both the sets that is C1 union C2. The formula is number of C1 plus number of C2 minus number of C1 intersection C2. Hence it would be 120 plus 50 minus 30 that is 40 individuals. Now chemical C1 but not C2. Hence we need to find out the exclusive people who are exposed to just C1 and not to C2. So it would be 120 minus 30 that is 90. Similarly people who are exposed to chemical C2 as well but not to C1 will also be equal to 50 minus 30 that is 20. So if you try to visualize the diagram with the help of Venn diagram then the problem becomes extremely simple to visualize and to understand. We will move to next problem. In a town of 10,000 families it was found that 40% families buy newspaper A, 20% families buy newspaper B and 10% families buy newspaper C. 5% families buy A and B, 3% purchase B and C and 4% buy A and C. If 2% families buy all three newspapers, find the number of families which buy A only, B only and none of a, B and C. Now we will write down the given information which is there in the problem. Now there are total 10,000 families. So N of U is equal to 10,000. Now 
forty percent family is by newspaper A. Hence, n of A is forty percent. As of now, n of U is given in the form of number of families, and n of A, B, and C is given in terms of percentage. We'll keep it as it is as of now. So, n of A is forty percent, n of B is twenty percent, and n of C is ten percent. After that, it is also given that there are five percent families which by A and B. Hence, n of A intersection B is five percent. Similarly, three percent by B and C. Hence, n of B intersection C is three percent, and n of A intersection C is four percent. Now, there are two percent families which by all three newspapers. Hence, n of A intersection B intersection C is equal to two percent. Now, we'll write down the formula. We know that n of A union B union C. Is equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c. So n of a is forty, n of b is twenty, will, and n of c is ten minus ten. Minus five minus three minus four plus two. After calculation, we get sixty percent. So n of a union b union c is equal to sixty percent. That means there are sixty percent individual which buy at least one newspaper. That is either a, b, which are asked in this situation. That is how many people are there which buy exclusively a. Now. Families who are buying only newspaper A will be n of A because now n of A contains people who are there who are buying only A as well as A and B as well as A and C and as well as all three. So, families buying only newspaper A will be n of A minus n of A intersection B minus n of A intersection C. Now we, again we need to add. N of A intersection B intersection C, so forty minus five minus four plus two, that is thirty three percent people. You understood that why we are adding this? The same concept which is there, which is used in the formula, because the subtraction we are subtracting the same number of elements twice. Hence, in order to calculate it correctly, we need to balance the formula. So, actual number of families who are buying. Only A is thirty-three percent of ten thousand families. That is thirty-three hundred families. Similarly, families who are buying only newspaper B will be N of B minus N of A intersection B minus N of B intersection C plus N of A intersection B intersection C. That is twenty minus five minus three plus two, which is equal to fourteen percent. Now, actual number of families buying newspaper B will be fourteen fourteen percent of ten thousand. That is fourteen hundred families. Next question is none of A, B, and C. Now we have already calculated n of A union B union C is equal to sixty percent. That means there are sixty percent families which buy at least one newspaper. Hence, none. Of Families who are buying none of the newspaper will be n of u minus n of a intersection n of u minus n of a union b union c. Now, sixty percent is calculated in terms of percentage. So, n of u also we need to convert into percentage. So, n of u will be hundred. So, hundred minus sixty will be equal to forty percent. Hence, actual number of families who are buying the newspaper is forty percent of ten thousand. That is four thousand families. Understood? In this problem, concept of percentage and number of families is slightly confusing. So you need to understand whatever is asked. In the problem, whether it is in terms of proportion, in terms of percentage, or actual number, you need to calculate so that you can solve the problem correctly.
while we are reading the problem we will write down the given information in a survey of 25 students that means n of u is 25 it was found that 15 had taken mathematics so n of m is equal to 15 12 had taken physics so n of p is equal to 12 and 11 had taken chemistry so n of c is equal to 11 now 5 had taken mathematics and chemistry. So, N of M intersection C is 5. 9 had taken mathematics and physics. So, N of M intersection P is equal to 9. 4 had taken physics and chemistry. So, N of P intersection C is equal to 4. And 3 had taken all 3 subjects. So, N of M intersection P intersection C is equal to 3. Find the number of students that had taken only chemistry, only mathematics, only physics, physics and chemistry but not mathematics, mathematics and physics but not chemistry, only one of the subject, at least one of the three subject and none of the subject. First of all, we will write down the formula for union of the three sets that is n of m union p union c is equal to n of m plus n of p plus n of c minus n of m intersection c minus n of m intersection p minus n of p intersection c plus n of m intersection p intersection c and c now, first question is we need to find out the students who have taken only chemistry. Now, similar to the previous problem, students who have opted for only chemistry will be N of C minus N of M intersection C as well as minus N of P intersection C plus N of M intersection P intersection C. Hence, L minus 5 minus 4 plus 3 is equal to 5. Similarly, students who have opted for only mathematics will be equal to n of m minus n of m intersection c minus n of m intersection p plus n of m intersection p intersection c that is 15 minus 5 minus 9 plus 3 is equal to 4. Similarly, you can calculate for physics also that is 12 minus 9 minus 4 plus 3 is equal to now, next part is students who have opted for physics and chemistry but not mathematics. So, we need to identify the students who have taken physics and chemistry. Physics and chemistry will be there in N of P intersection C. But from that set, we need to subtract the count of the students who had also opted for mathematics. Hence, the students who have taken physics and chemistry but not mathematics will be equal to N of P intersection C minus N of M intersection P intersection C. That is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Because we need to calculate physics and chemistry but not mathematics. Now, there are 3 students who have opted for maths, physics as well as chemistry and there are four students who have opted for physics and chemistry. So, these three students who have already opted for all three subjects is already there in this count of four and hence we are subtracting that in order to get the student who have opted for only physics and chemistry but not mathematics. Now, similarly, students who have opted for mathematics and physics but not chemistry. So, we need to take the set of N of M intersection P minus stu uh, students who have opted for all three. That is 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. Next is only one of the subject. So, either it can be only maths, it can be only physics or it can be only chemistry. Now, we have already calculated students who have opted for only one subject. So, for only chemistry that is 5, only mathematics is 4, and only physics is 2. Hence, students who have opted for only one subject will be equal to 4 plus 2 plus 5 that is 11. 
Now, students who have opted for at least one of the two subjects. Now, there are two ways to calculate this one. It Either you can have at least one subject. That means you can count students who have opted for exactly one subject, exactly two subjects or all three subjects. In this way also you can calculate or else you can also calculate it by simply number of M union, inter, M union P union C. Here you can get the students who have opted for at least one of the subject. We have already written the formula N of M union P union C is equal to N of M plus N of P plus N of C. minus n of m intersection c minus n of m intersection p minus n of p intersection c plus n of m intersection p intersection c. Uh, once you put, on, put the values, you will get the answer as 23. So, 15 plus 12 plus 11 minus 5 minus 9 minus 4 plus 3. That is 36 minus 18 is equal to 23. And the last question is none of the subject. Now, we already know that students who have taken at least one subject, that is, there are 23 students who have taken at least one subject and total number of students are 25. Hence, students who have not taken any of the given subject is N of U minus N of M union P union C, that is 25 minus 23 is equal to 2. With this problem, we have done with practice problems of sets. In next video, we will cover few more practice problems on second chapter. If you have not understood any concept, please write to me in the comment box. If you want me to cover any specific problem, you can share that problem also in the comment box. I will also try to include that problem in upcoming videos. Thank you.